So Murphy the favorite in the middle of the pool. Above him is Tyler Clary, who in between prelims and semifinals yesterday, he's a big NASCAR fan. He went go-karting here in Omaha with family and friends to try to get into a relaxed atmosphere, and he said he is ready for this final to get on another Olympic team. This backstroke is just so consistently a beast for the American men. We saw what happened in the 100 backstroke earlier in the competition with Murphy and Plummer making it, pushing out the king, Matt Grievers. Could this be the case here, Dan? I mean, could it be that Murphy and Pebbly would push out the 200 backstroke gold medalist? It, it would just be incredible. And that's why that tradition of excellence keeps pushing these backstrokers. And again, it would be another example of a real changing of the guard here in 2016 in Omaha. Halfway point, it is Ryan Murphy trying to double up. Pebbly was second, so the two upstarts ahead of Clary, who had that turn at the halfway point in third. Well, Murphy definitely has the most easy speed of the three. If you think about it, Pebbly should be the hungriest. Boy, he is right on the lane line, though. Look at him, he is hugging it, and this is a problem he had in the preliminaries. He was all, oh, look at him. He's right on it. His shoulder, it keeps hitting it. He's got to move over. Clary's in a bit of trouble. He is off the pace as Murphy and Pebbly are one, two, so Clary's going to have to get up closer to Murphy and Pebbly if he's going to get himself another chance at an Olympics, but he's running third right now. Clary's starting to widen up a little bit, and Pebbly has now moved back over into the middle, but there's Clary right there. Ryan Murphy is going to win both the 100 and the 200, and he's going to be joined by his Cal teammate and training partner, Jacob Pebbly. Another defending Olympic gold medalist is out of Rio in Tyler Clary. And boy, the Cal swimmers have had a lot of reason to celebrate this week. I don't know how Jacob Pebbly made the Olympic team. I mean, that guy's a second faster, but when look at these two teammates, they will now go from college mates to United States teammates. Could they join the Pearsalls and the neighbors and the Kranzelbergs before them? But look at this guy. He is right on this lane line. He's bumping into it. He is. He's bumping into it. And that's just four or five strokes we saw then. Can you imagine? He did that all the way down, but he still did it. But Ryan Murphy's the king. He is the king. Second fastest time in the world, by the way, only by five one hundreds. Oh, can't wait to get Rio. That might be one of the crookedest roads to Rio <laughs> by Jacob Pebbly we've ever seen. But it's good enough. He's got Olympic rings next to his name. Bump in the lane line. The guy they call Pebbles. Yeah, believe it, Jacob. You are going to Rio with Ryan Murphy. And then there's the other side of it. Tyler Clary will not be an Olympian this time in Rio.